I am Omega Pax. I am the last of the Cybertronian historians. This is the history of Transformers. Red Alert is paranoid, which is not a bad trait in a security director. If it's kept in check by reason, logic, and common sense, Red Alert is not always so good with those other traits. The other Autobots appreciate his good intentions and eye for detail, but his ratio of false alarms to real emergencies is not always the greatest, and it makes them less likely to take him seriously when a threat is real. Inferno does his best to keep his good friend out of real trouble. Red Alert assisted Inferno when the Dinobots accidentally set Autobot headquarters on fire. He and Inferno later helped Prowl and Jazz corral some motorcycle wrestlers into the future by a time warp. The Autobots were testing the powerful Negavator superweapon they had built in cooperation with the United States military when the Decepticons attacked, intent on stealing the weapon. Optimus Prime ordered Red Alert and Inferno to stay inside and guard the bunker as the rest of the Autobots took the fight to the Decepticons. Inferno chafed to fight the Decepticons and left Red Alert on his own despite the latter's plea for him to stay. During the battle, Decepticon attacks caused the bunker to catch on fire and become damaged, knocking Red Alert on the head and burying him under rubble. Realizing what had happened, Inferno and the other Autobots returned to rescue Red Alert. Unfortunately, the blow to his head damaged Red Alert's logic circuits, making him even more paranoid than usual, and caused him to flee from the other Autobots in fear that they would take him apart and use him for spare parts. He also became thoroughly convinced that his pal Inferno was after his job, and so he escaped the Autobots. Red Alert's damage was such that if he was left untreated and insane, his circuits would eventually explode, and so the Autobots immediately left to find him. Meanwhile, Starscream used Red Alert's paranoia to his own advantage by pretending to form a partnership with the Autobot, feeding his paranoid state and encouraging him to steal the Negavator and use it to destroy both the Autobots and Decepticons. With Red Alert's knowledge, the pair infiltrated the bunker and stole the Negavator just in time for Megatron to seize the weapon, and for Starscream to reveal his true cowardly ways. Fortunately, Inferno saved Red Alert from himself and his Decepticon ally. Much later, Cosmos radioed to Teletran 1 to inform the Autobots that he had uncovered data on a new source of energy upon Saturn's moon of Titan, but was under heavy fire from Astrotrain. Optimus Prime began to order Cosmos to transmit the data, but Red Alert overruled his commander, saying it was too risky as the Decepticons might monitor and intercept the transmission. Prime acknowledged Red Alert's caution and instead sent a team of Autobots out aboard Omega Supreme to meet Cosmos. 